boys we're back with some more nova drift for the 1.0 release of the game a pretty cool highly customizable space bullet heaven so i've unlocked a few more things and learned a bit more about the game we're going to be trying out a full drone build this time if possible later on there's a drone that can shoot your weapon so i'll want something cool for that a salvo of wild heat-seeking missiles. Yeah, that sounds cool to add to a drone later on. Grab that. Actually, let me turn that on to manual cast for a while. So that I can aim that a bit better as I'm running towards them. Then maybe I'll turn auto fire back on if I want to later on. So we're going to be going for a full drone build. I'm going to try and find the drone that can shoot my weapon. And then I'm also going to try and make it so I can transfer my shield to my drones and get a cool shield effect for them as well. Shield is orbited by three energy orbs, release a damaging pulse when they touch targets. That could be cool on them. To you, your shield increases the charge of the orbs. So if my drones like run into them, they'll have a melee shield, a shield reflect, reflects enemy pro projectiles. Maybe. Bastion, you deploy something probably not a burning shield maybe shockwave pushing targets and projectiles releases a forceful wave which shields blast damage and applies vulnerability three energy orbs or reflect i think i want to try this one just have a bunch of stuff orbiting all of my drones could be pretty sick and also i can sort of run close to them right now for a bit of extra damage if I feel like it's... Let's see, body assaults. Chance to improve your weapons with fire rate, weapon spread, projectile velocity. I would lose some shields, but later on I won't have any shields anyways. That might still apply to the drones though. Engineer. Oh, limit to basic and standard constructs. Okay, I think this is probably the play. But we'll take a brief look at the other ones. Firefly, some survivability and some burning behind you. Hullbreaker, crash damage, no. Body carrier, you automatically assemble and deploy swarm constructs, which apply vulnerability. Damage shield protects you. A portion of your swarm constructs are assigned to recover your shields. Shut this down or have no shield. They gain movement and fire rates. Basic constructs. Rarely, they are upgraded with improved abilities. Construct limit 4 plus 1 for every 2 levels. Okay, maybe this one then. 2 limit to basic and standard, 1 to advanced. Each unassembled standard or advanced. Yeah, this one sounds better since we don't even have any sources of them yet and then this will give me a bunch that scale with the level. So we'll already have a few of them coming out. The little blue ships that are flying behind them and backstabbing them. So that guy is shielded from the front. I'll see if the drones keep them busy and I can get some missiles from behind. Didn't mean to run into them. Let's see what we got here. Blast radius for our weapons. Bunch of weapon improvements. Mines. Shield. Um, we will want the shield upgrades. Oh yeah, you can also change some of your equipment if you want. Boost thrust and weapon damage by how much? 20%? Up to 100% based on shield effects and enemies inside of that. Nah. Um, I might just improve my weapons for now since we'll be transferring that to one of the big drones later on. Let's go with a plus two for now. Can I get close enough to hit them with my balls? Mm, kind of. I think they're just killing my little baby drones instantly right now, so kind of hard to damage them. Looks like that guy's laying some mines behind them as well. Let's see what we got here whole region drones that would be good ally is the one that can fire your weapon i think maybe not or maybe it's a tree that that unlocks let me see 
when drone would be destroyed, reduced to 1 HP for a bit. Deploy drones early, 1 drone construct limits. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab the ally. That's an advanced one, and I think we can only have one of them, but it's a lot stronger. And I think that's the one that can fire my missiles. Uh, we got a bit of a boss here, and I'm not that strong right now. My drones are actually kind of messing them up, though. Okay, the drones did most of that. Well, I just ran around. Let's see. Weapon targeting rapid fire. Ally construct to regenerate whole over time. I do want evolution to scale him up with my levels, but let's see what else there is. This banishes the Interceptor mod. I believe that one is actually the thing I remember where you add the weapon to him. He can redirect some damage to himself, confuses nearby enemies. Hold up to one Medi Charge power up, cover hole in shields. Yeah, so I think we're looking for the offensive version, the Interceptor. I could grab the healing since I want to unlock evolution anyways. Sure. So my ally should have a bit more survivability now. Which is good because he actually has a pretty long reconstruct time. Okay, we have a singularity. I'm going to try and stay on the opposite side of the screen. Because those do massive damage if you get sucked in. I assume they can probably kill your drones as well, which would weaken you for a while. We'll teleport over here and flank them while the drones do a bunch of work. Oh, I should probably take that missile shipping guy out. Gotta level up here. We can get the drones. Stabilize, shield. Yeah, may as well. A standard construct with a limit of three. We can go ahead and get those going. I think those guys charge at you, so I'm gonna jump over here. I should probably be constantly firing my missiles at this point since they have some homing to them. Region, improved construct hole and assembly speed, that's pretty useful. Salt drones, that might be what I'm looking for. No, that's for the drones I just got, isn't it? But it does give them a lot of rate of fire and plus one. And their new formation, they will pursue enemies and gain 50% rate of fire. That sounds nice. So I think I press tab and that puts them in the new formation and they should have a lot more damage and chase enemies down now. Another singularity, we have an upgrade, buffs from my weapon. Isn't super useful yet. Turret mines, formation battalion. Total damage, but they lose some fire rates. Fleet commander is good though. Two of them are promoted to commanders with a lot of damage and vulnerability. Oh, I kind of want that one though. When drones would be destroyed, they instead accelerate and dive bomb them. Your allies' explosive rounds have a an additional larger blast radius evolution. Yeah, I definitely do want that one to improve his stats based on my level. So our one really strong guy will have stronger explosive weapons now. Race protocol, drone destroyed. We can get the evolution. There's actually a 
bunch of stuff I want here. Let's go ahead and get this so he gets stronger as I level up and he gets plus one explosive round. Another level interceptor that fires your weapon in addition to its own. Okay, this is what I was talking about. So that will make my one ally guy move a lot faster, plus one explosive round, and he fires my weapon, although it's a reduced speed. But now I can get upgrades to my missiles, and they should affect him, I think. And also, he can just shoot a bunch of homing explosives now. Formation Battalion, Wingman, Interceptor, Orbits your nose instead of hunting down enemies. I don't think I want to reduce his stats that much though, so that doesn't really seem like a great idea to me. Targeting, that might actually be pretty good since the missiles have slight homing, but it doesn't seem that great. Sure. We could definitely use some more homing on them. Apply or deploy drones before they're ready. Turret, improve construct hull and assembly speed. Interceptor attempted dodge and counter enemy attacks. And then when he dodges, he gains a massive fire rate. Wow. Okay, that sounds pretty good. I feel like I could use even more homing on the missiles still. Alright, we got the first huge boss it looks like. Drones are already going to work blasting that section over there. I think that's the bullet hell attack where he glows in the middle. No, the laser attack. So he'll rotate around. And after that, he'll probably do a bullet hell attack where you want to go to the side of the screen to avoid it. If he's still alive for that. Yeah, here we go. Oh, I guess there's a small opening here we can move through. Let's see, wingman orbit. No, that's the one I don't want. Central projectiles in your volley, rapid fire. So I need one of the shield upgrades to send them to my drones. Doesn't look like over there. Um, 15% rate of fire, that's not too bad. More missiles for both me and the ally shooting them, I think. when not firing, maximum hull, burn, blast radius. When a drone is destroyed, it is instead reduced to one hull and becomes immune for one second. Yep, looks good. So now my drones can't get one shot and they can still get some decent damage off even if they get hit by some big AoE attacks. Drone would be destroyed, it accelerates towards the target. We want that at some point. Turret, construct hole and assembly speed. Ah, uh, sure, let's go ahead and grab that. So now, if they would die, they'll survive at 1 HP and then dive bomb the enemy. Ah, 
I thought that guy would die long before he got to me, to be honest. Let's see, adaptive armor, shield effect, radius cooldown. Let me see if there's anything important off of those. No. Weaponize the shield effect to any shield. Oh, that would actually be good to transfer to the drones later on. Slows projectiles and greatly improves targeting. That sounds nice for the missiles, actually. It'll be a bit slower, but hopefully they should home in a lot better. Which seems kind of weak right now. But anything to land some more of those for each volley would be pretty helpful. Especially since my little ally there gets pretty close to the enemies. Interceptor fires your weapon more frequently and two explosive rounds. That sounds pretty nice. Battalion Fleet Commander. I really want that one too. But we've been all about buffing up the missiles, so having him use those more often sounds fantastic. He's got the same shield as me. With the little orbs orbiting him. Let's teleport over here. And the drones and the missiles get some big damage in. Teleport back over here. Try to avoid his balls. Only my balls are allowed to touch people. Stats, skirmish, turrets, not firing, shield, blast radius, um, they don't already explode, but I believe the missiles do, so that probably wouldn't do anything. Let's just take this for some decent overall weapon stats for both me and the missiles for the ally. Oh, you know, now that I think about it, the body type that I saw early on with the plus one construct limit might be cooler now. That I have an advanced ally that's shooting missiles based off of mine. Mines, wingman. Attack with smaller weapon projectiles from your broadsides. That sounds cool. Even more missiles. Yeah, there might be something that I need to level up to unlock the shield transfer to my drones thing, since I haven't seen anything related to that yet. Ah, let's go back! There was a trap! Path, destroy an enemy, you get a buff, burn damage, blast, radius, shields, a rapid three fire burst. That sounds cool, actually. Uh, let's try it. 
Okay, that's a lot of missiles. And they're just glowing different colors now for some reason? Okay, we got another little boss here, Warburger. I think he shoots lasers from the front and he tries to ram you occasionally. I'm gonna try and stay right next to the wall and get ready to avoid that. Total weapon rate of fire increases each time you fire consecutively or charging your weapon. Take ramping whole self damage when you fire it consecutively. I think I can't fire consecutively with the thing I just took, the burst fire, because it incurs a cooldown equal to the cooldown of the shots fired. So that might actually work. Although, I'm not sure if the rate of fire actually even applies to me now. Wait, splinter into weaker mini projectiles? That sounds insane. I've got to try that. Oh my god! That's so many missiles! Deployed drones, wingman, weapon damage, projectile size, blast radius, weapon rate of fire. Sounds good. Jesus. And that should all apply to my allies' missiles as well. Yeah, it seems like it. Oh, we can make the drones get a lot of stats as I level up. I definitely want that one. Yup. right into the missiles. Fleet commander, two of my drones are promoted to commanders. Looks pretty good. Mine skirmish. Yup. So two of the small drones will be a lot stronger now. And they also apply a debuff, I think. Fire, cooldown, wingman, blast radius. Weaponized shield effect. Well, I want some of these shield upgrades eventually anyways when I apply them to my drones, if I can actually find the thing. Oops. Projectile velocity and damage, shield effect, focus fire, additional projectiles with improved targeting. That sounds really good. Two weapon projectile. Wait, it reduces? It says it improves targeting and spread. Oh well, we're doing it. Fire a volley and teleport over here.
thrusters, efficiency, warp path. I don't think I need that, but I might just grab all of the drone stuff just in case I need that to unlock something. ran into those meteors. Blast radius, battalion, turret, Adaptive armor. Was it something in here? Self destruction? Oh, there we are. Instead of protecting you, your shield protects standard and advanced constructs deployed by you. Yeah, that would be really cool with the orbiting shields on them and them closing in. And we can also construct them a bit faster. That's the main reason I took a shield with a melee sort of effect on it, anyways. I wonder, do your weapons just sort of glow a different color once you get a ton of them? So that they're easier to see? Because it does seem like it's a bit easier to tell which is mine now. Destruction. When constructs are destroyed, they release a shockwave that deals damage. Equal to the maximum hull. Sounds pretty good. Sure. Oh, we're on the boss soon. I can see him over there. Here he comes. I'm just gonna like stay next to the wall and try to teleport around to avoid his stuff, I think. I guess it's just his head that attacks and his body isn't actually doing anything. Ah, I'm so slow. Yeah, his body on the right side doesn't actually seem to do anything, it seems like. Oh my god, those missiles are insanely loud. I feel like you should be able to, like, go to the left instead of just the right on that something as well. Man, those missiles are insane! Wait, I destroyed his body? I got smaller? What is happening? I'm just gonna try and cheese him by constantly teleporting? Where did he go? He's running. He's scared of the cheese. He's not scared of the cheese. I am rapidly running out of room. Oh god. I'm flying all over the place. I can't control myself. Okay, thank god because that was really close. I think I won right? happening. It's really bright right now. Let's see. Adaptive armor. Construct limits at the cost of thrust and the ability to fire your weapon. 
So I can't fire my missiles, but I could have an extra drone that would be firing them? This might be a bad idea, but it does fit the build. And it sounds cool. So yeah, I can't fire anymore, but we should be able to have two of the allies out firing all of my missiles. And we can have twice as many of the tiny guys. There's a lot of them now. Go, my babies. Oh yeah, there's two of them now. Down, shield, shielded constructs. I can grab it, I'll lose my shielding, but I'll gain a little bit of hold stats. YOLO. Alright, now they all have orbs all over them. So I'm just getting a ton of personal stats and then transferring them all to my drones with like the missiles and the shields and stuff. And then if they ever get low, they'll dive bomb the enemies as well. That's so many circles. It does make it very easy to see which ones are mine, though, with the orbs around them. Blast radius, wingman mines, greatly increased shield effects. Reduces the radius, though, which will make it harder for them to hit stuff. Maybe we just give them the extra shielding for now? Or we buff up the missile projectiles on the allies, actually. That would be cool. Man, when they swarm them with all those orbs up, that's so much damage. Now I can just focus purely on dodging. Oh god, that's a lot of rail guns, and I'm dead. Oops. We did unlock some new stuff. Cause your advanced construct assembly time to progress when enemies are destroyed. Might have been somewhat useful, not sure. New body type architect. Deploy only one very powerful construct, which it can cause to self-destruct. Could be cool. Hidden power. Deal massive damage to targets, but your weapon to have no effect and prevents you from creating constructs. Oh, that's probably for a ship that would ram into enemies for collision damage, I would guess. But we did beat the boss at least. But I was kind of weak since I transferred my shield to my drones. And then I didn't have enough of the upgrades to my own hull stats. So I was pretty squishy there. And then I didn't know they were going to shoot like a ton of rail guns at me. And I needed to avoid that a bit better. But that's going to be it for now. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.